Israel united in Christ, and we're out here to teach you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians your true nationality according to the Bible. That's right. Because in this country, we have been taught that we're African Americans, right. that we're Hispanics, right. Native savages, coons. Right. But guess what? According to the Holy Bible, you are the chosen people of God. That's right. And we're going to prove that to you today. Let's open up with Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. No. Anybody raise their hand if they know about the history with Moses bringing the Israelites out of Egypt. Raise your hand. No. Anybody knows? So one brother knows. Well, guess what? We're going to dive into that history and show you that you are actually those people. His brother right there the mic said, absolutely. Right. Read on. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Go ahead. Yeah. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So what are we reading? The Bible. That's and right. these are the words which Moses spoke to the children of Israel. Right, it right. did not say everybody in the whole world. It did not say all races. This is spoken to the children of Israel. That's right. right. Go to chapter 28, verse 15. Yeah. Let's show you what Moses particularly said to the children of Israel. Yeah. Verse 15. Read. Same book. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Read. Yeah. But it shall come to pass. So the Bible says, says, it shall come to pass. Meaning, this is going to happen in the future. Read. And thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So remember, Moses was speaking to the children of Israel. He said, in the future, it shall come to pass if you will not listen to God's voice, which is the Bible. Go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments. If you Israelites do not listen and do all God's commandments, go ahead. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Uh-huh. That all these curses. So if you do not keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, curses were going to come upon you. Brother right here, is curses a good thing or a bad thing? Me. It, is curses uh, a good thing or a bad, bad thing. thing? Bad thing, right? Yes. So God says, look, bad things are going to come upon the children of Israel in the future for breaking his commandments. Right, right. If anybody knows the history, the Israelites did break the commandments. Right. They worshiped the golden calf, right? The golden calf that was murmuring against Moses and God. So now curses are going to come upon them. Let's see some of the curses that's going to happen to them. Get verse 32. Yeah. Get verse 32. This verse 32. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, your history is recorded in the Bible, and we're going to read it. Read. Right, right. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So one of the curses that's going to happen to the children of Israel, your sons and daughters were going to be taken and given to another people. Right. Who did that happen to? Brother right here, by the truck. Who did that happen to? Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? For worshiping Taurus the bull. The yeah, you. This Who? This is a compact SUV. Who did this happen to? Read it again. Read it again for him. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who happened? Who did that happen to? Sounds like uh, slaves, man. Exactly, right? Yeah. So God says your sons and daughters were going to be given to another people. That happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives. Right, right. It's still, and what happens when America sees that a so-called black person is not fit to be a parent? Mm -hmm. They call it child services and take their kids away. Right. What's happening to the so-called Mexicans today? Their, their sons and their daughters being taken by Border Patrol, ICE raids, and sent to Mexico. Right, right. That also happened to the so-called Native American Indians. Their sons and daughters was taken when a so-called white man came over to this country and took them and sent them to boarding schools to right. learn their cultures. Right. Right? Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fell with longing for them all the day long. So brother right here looking at the flyer. Brother right here, come on over, bro. Come on over. We ain't gonna bite. Read, <laughs> read it from the top again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So, what's your name? Reggie. Reggie? My name is Yana. All right? Shalom, shalom. So, you know that you're an Israelite. All praises, all praises. 
So we're going to keep going into the history so the rest of our people can get an understanding and get on the same page you on, all right? So read verse 32 again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So God says the Israelite sons and daughters were going to be given unto another people. Right. What happened to our people in slavery? Right. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fell with longing for them all the day long. And the only thing we could do, we didn't have no economic power. We didn't have no military might to right. get our kids back. And the only thing we could do is sit there and watch our kids be taken from us. Read it out. What are we reading? The Bible. That's right. Read on. And there shall be no might in thine hand. And God says there's not, there's not going to be any might in your hand to get your kids back. Give us 48. Verse 48. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. So, Reggie, God says we're going to have to serve our enemies, which he sent against us, because of our disobedience, right? Go ahead. And hunger. So we're going to have to serve them in food. We're going to have to go to the corner store to get some uh, candy or, 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 or anything, chips or anything from them, right? Go ahead. And in thirst. And in thirst, any type of drink that we got to get, we have to go to our enemies for it. Read. And in nakedness. The clothes on our backs. God says for disobedience to his law, statutes, and commandments, you're going to have to go to your enemies for these things. Go right. ahead. And in one of all things. That's anything. If you want a car, you're going to have to go to your enemies. Right. If you want a house, you're going to have to go to your enemies. Right. right. This is a curse that happened to the children of Israel which is you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Right. That, is that it? Read. And he, and the same enemy that put you into slavery, that took your sons and daughters, what does the Bible say that he gonna do to you? Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He's gonna do what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So God says, for cur the curses, for disobedience to his law, statutes, and commandments, God says in the future, this so-called, this enemy is going to put yokes of iron on your necks. Right. What are we reading? The Bible. Right. That's right. right. This is the Bible that none of the churches is going to teach properly. Right. Not Islam going to teach properly. Right. Not Egyptology going to teach properly. Yeah. All these different religions is false and vain. That's right. right. Our only solution is coming back to the Bible and learning who you are according to the Bible. That's right. Yeah. And get Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Yeah. Because learning that you're an Israelite according to the Bible, there's law, statutes, and commandments that you have to abide by. Right. And the reason why we're in this situation right now, why we keep getting the knees on our necks, yeah. keep getting shot down in the back by the police, is because God's curses have fell upon us because our disobedience to his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Read. Yeah. And now, Israel, huh? what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So, Reggie, now that you know that you're an Israelite, right? God says, what does he, what does he require of you? And I'm pretty sure you know, right? Keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. So, we're going to go through some laws just so you can... You know, know and actually apply it when you get the chance, all right? Uh, read. But to fear the Lord thy God. So hold on. So brother right here, what's your name? Matt. Matt? Yeah. Matt, my name is Ya'anai, all right? Okay, Ya'anai. All right, so what we going over? So did you hear about the curses? Yeah, I did. Keep going, my man, before you incorporate me. Okay, got you, got you. So what we're, right, what we're doing right now, we went over the curses, proving that we're the Israelites, all right? Now, get, uh... Deuteron no, read on, read on. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. That's what I wanted. Read. To walk in all his ways uh -huh. and to love him. So we have to love God and walk in his ways. Go ahead. And to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. Go ahead. To keep the commandments of the Lord uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. Right. So keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, that's going to be a benefit to us. Right? So, Reggie, as far as you learning that you're an Israelite, do you have any questions? Let me ask that first. Do you have any questions? You don't? All right, so do you know any laws that we have to abide by? Do you know any? You actually don't? 
Okay, good, good. That's why we're here. We had to teach our people the law, statutes, and commandments, right? That's right. So get Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Let's get yeah. there. Because the Bible just said that we have to love God and walk in his ways, which is keeping the laws. So let's see what laws we're supposed to be keeping. Read that. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Read. Uh, speak unto the children of Israel. So the Bible says, speak to the children of Israel. That's your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. That's right. Read. And bid them. And command them. This is God's commandment to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Natives. Read. That they make them fringes uh -huh. in the borders of their garments. So God says a law is we have to make fringes in the borders of our garments. So I see you looking already. That's these right here, right? And it can be any color on any shirt. Read on. Throughout that generation. So it says throughout our generations. What do I mean by throughout our generations? I got a word. Throughout our bloodline, right? So it keeps going on and on, right? Forever. So we have to wear fringes forever. Go ahead. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders. So so you put on top of the fringes, upon the fringes, what? A ribbon of blue. You put a blue ribbon on top of it. You understand that? Why? So this is one of God's law, statutes, and commandments. Read on. Why? Hold on, why? And it shall be unto you for a fringe. So this is the reason why we wear them. It shall be unto you for a fringe. Go ahead. That ye may look upon it. That we may look upon it. So it's physical, not spiritual. Go ahead. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And do what? And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And remember all the commandments of God. Because there might be a sister that you might go and fornicate with, right? But when you look at your fringes, you're like, uh, I can't be caught out here doing all this with my fringes on, right? Because that'll be a bad example to your people, yeah. right? And that'll be a bad thing for you as well, because God actually sees that, right. right? Go ahead. And do the, and do the, do the commandments. Go ahead. And that ye seek not after your own heart uh -huh. and your own eyes. Go ahead. After which ye used to go ahead. And that's going after different religions and other gods and beliefs, because a lot of people believe. All other type of things outside of what the Bible actually says. Yeah. But God says you put your fringes on with a ribbon of blue so you can be reminded not to go after doing whatever you want to do. But like believing right. in what you want to believe in. Right. You understand? Go to uh, Leviticus 21 and 5. Yeah. Leviticus 21 and 5. 1 Corinthians 3.16. Get that first. Yeah. Let's see what the Bible says. This is another law that we have to keep as the children of Israel. Bring it up. Brother right here, if, if, we, if we believe that we're kings and gods, right, shouldn't we handle ourselves as kings and gods? Man, hold on for you to incorporate me, man. I'm still listening. All right, so get 1 Corinthians 3.16. So this is another law that we have to apply. Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Verse 16. Read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So God says the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man and woman are the temple of God. That's right. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. And God's Spirit is supposed to be dwelling in you, Reggie. Right? Read. If any man defile the temple of God. So God says if any man defile his temple. How do you defile your temple? By messing with prostitutes. Bring it up. That me by messing with different women, by smoking cigarettes, doing weed, getting drunk. Right. These are laws or sins that defile God's temple. That's right. You understand that? Read on. Who shall God destroy? On, what was God going to do? Who shall God destroy? God says he's going to destroy that person that defiles his temple. Right. You understand that? So according to the Bible, you cannot smoke. That's yeah. defiling your temple. That's right. You cannot get drunk. That's defiling your temple. Right. You understand that? Do you smoke? All right, good. So now you're learning that, look, you're not supposed to be doing that. That's against God's laws, right? Go to um, Leviticus 21 and 5. What I have. Yeah. These are different laws to help us understand, look, I'm an Israelite now, so this is how I got to walk now. Because right. a lot of us, we used to be breaking these things. We used to smoke. We used to get drunk. Right. We used to mess with a bunch of different women. But after learning that we're Israelites, that's the importance of learning your actual nationality. Right. You can actually start to change properly. Right. You understand? Read that. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Read it. They shall not make boldness upon their heads. 
So God says we're not supposed to make baldness upon our head, but there's a there's a statue to that. Some of our people actually go bald. And right. that's that's naturally fine. The Bible says in Leviticus 13, you clean. You understand? So do you naturally go bald? Alright, understood, understood. Uh keep reading on that. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Now, that right there, God says an um, uh, Israelite man, he's not supposed to shave off the corner of his beard. That's his natural line. Right. You might see a bunch of different The natural line don't fall in the same place, right? You're not supposed to go past that. Because that's an Egyptian custom, and Egyptians did that. That's right. Right? So, uh, read on. Is that it? Keep going. No! Make any cuttings in their flesh. So, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. God says the law is we cannot get tattoos. That's cuttings in your flesh, right? right. That it? Yes. Go to uh, Leviticus 19. Bring it out. Uh, 29, I think. 29. Same thing. 27. 27. 27. Yeah. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. With the tattoos, this, this is why a lot of... Oh, a lot of times why our people actually get tattoos. Read that. Because somebody in their family member might die, right? And they get tattoos, R.I.P., such and such, right? right. This is what the Bible say. Read. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. Saying the same thing, Leviticus 21. Go ahead. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Not boil your head or go into your corner of your beard. Read. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. For the what? For the dead. So if somebody died in your family, you're not supposed to cut in your flesh for the dead. Get out. Not R.I.P. Uh, 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 Jalen, R.I.P. Uh, my homie, blah, 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 right? That's against God's laws. We're not right, supposed right. to mark up our body. Because why? why? Why do you think God has given us these different type of laws that all other nations do? Why do you think he give us these particular laws? Get out. To separate us from That's right. right. And it's another reason too, Psalm 82. Bring it Psalm up. 82. This is another reason. Because learning your nationality and your identity is a very big thing. Right. Have you been seeing what's going on in the news or sports? What's been going on? Talk to me. Okay, call it Kaepernick, right? You got the Nick Cannon. If you're saying sports, then you got the Nick Cannon. Ah. Right, right. I mean, it's normal. And you heard about Deshaun Jackson, right? You did? Okay, I'm I'm informing you on watch, that. I don't, I don't watch that. Okay, God, that's fine, that's fine. So, this is why the Nick Cannon thing popped up because of the Deshaun Jackson situation. Right. Deshaun Jackson, he made a post about, you know, I'm going to just paraphrase. He made a post about the Jewish people over there in Israel today are not the actual Jews. And yep. our people, the blacks, are the real Jews, right? That's right. That's so, curse. Right. That's part of our curse. Right. That's a part of our curse to prove that we are. Right. But what the media try to do, and the Jewish people try to do, is say, oh, he's anti-Semitic and blah, 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 all that, right? But the real reason why they're mad is because he told our people that we're the real Jews. That's the real situation. That's right. They try to cover that up and say, oh, you anti-Semitic. Right. You understand? So that's why Nick Cannon came on the scene. He was like, you know, uh, paraphrasing again. Basically what Deshaun Jackson was saying was right. And then everybody tried to blink. Well, yeah, right. And Nick Cannon said, you can't be anti-Semitic if you Semitic. We, def we descend from Shem, right? Read out. So read on. Psalm chapter 82, verse 6. Read out. I have said, ye are God. Who said it? I have said, ye are God. God himself, the creator of the heavens and the earth. God says, ye are God. That's right. God says, ye are God. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Right. You are God. Right. Right? So as God's, there's particular laws that a God should follow. Right. You understand? Yeah. One of the laws is not body your head if you're not going. <laughs> I got you. I got you. But I understand what I mean. Not not body your head if it's not natural, right? So, so, no, keep reading. Keep reading. We hit it. I hear him. Bring it up. Psalm 82 and 6 again. Read it again. Psalm chapter 82 verse 6. Uh -huh. no. I have said, ye are God. So as God's particular laws we gotta follow. We're in the fringes. No other nations wear fringes and a ribbon of blue. Right. No other nation do that. No other nation was given laws to grow out your beard, not put tattoos on your body, right. not smoke, not get drunk. Right. These are laws pertaining to the Israelites. Right. You understand? And these are all coming from God's mouth. That's Let's right. get that. 
2 Peter chapter 1 verse 20. Bring it up, bring it up. It's all coming from God's mouth. Jeez. You understand? 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 20. Read. Brothers right here, y'all should come over and listen, man. Learn your real nationality. Because y'all heard about what happened with Deshaun Jackson and Nick Cannon, right? Y'all heard about that, right? We're going over that right now. This is what, this is what they actually was talking about, but the media try to downplay what they actually said. Because they're saying that Nick Cannon, Deshaun Jackson, they're saying that the so-called blacks, we are the real Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. The real Hebrews. But now, you're getting a more in-depth understanding if you come over here and listen to what they're actually saying. Because, because of their status, they can't actually go into a lot of stuff. But we're about to show you right now. Read this first. Second Peter, chapter 1, verse 20. Go ahead. Yeah. Now wait this first. So this is the first thing knowing about the Bible. This is the first thing you should know. And remember what the fringes is for, right? So you won't go after your own heart, right? Your own understanding. Read. That no prophecy of the scripture. So no prophecy in the scripture. Nothing in this Bible is what? It's of any private interpretation. So there is not my interpretation, not his interpretation, not his interpretation, not her interpretation. There's no private interpretation, but one interpretation. That's God's interpretation. And I'm going to show you that. Keep reading. For the prophecy came not in all time by the will of man. But see, the Bible says this book wasn't written by your understanding of a man. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So no man actually sat here and say, okay, I'm going to write down in 2,000 years or so, I'm going to write down that these black, Hispanic, and Native American people are going to go on slavery on ships. I'm going to write down yeah. that these people are going to have yokes of iron on their neck, right. serving another race of people. No man can do that. Yeah. But, but God, read. But holy men of God uh -huh. spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. You see that? So holy men of God actually wrote it down as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. That's right. And let me explain that. Uh, Psalm 68 and 11. This is what it means by they were moved by the Holy Ghost. And this ain't talking about no Holy Ghost. There are people so-called catching church and they jump in, hooping and hollering around, wings flying off and stuff. That's yeah. the Holy Ghost. Right. You don't read that not now one time in the Bible. Right. Read. read. Psalm right. so, chapter 68, verse 11. This is what it yeah. means by they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Read. The Lord gave the word. The who? The Lord gave the word. No, a man interpretation. The Lord gave the word. God gave the word. Yeah. Read. Right. Right. Great was the company of those that published it. And people published what God told them to write. Yeah, right, right. Not a man thought of something he wanted to think of and wrote it down in the Bible and said, this is my interpretation. No, it ain't no interpretation of, no one man interpretation of the Bible. Right. Yeah. It's only God's interpretation. Right. How do you get that interpretation? I'm showing you basic stuff. Isaiah 28. Bring it up. This is how you get basic understanding of the Bible so you won't be going off into your own understanding. Bring it up. 28 and verse 9. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 9. Read. Who shall he teach knowledge? God says, who are we going to teach the knowledge of the Bible? Read. Because you got a lot of scholars out here. You got, when we show up, right, who everybody think is niggas in purple, Read and they want to think that they got all the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding once we show up, Three. but they ain't been saying a doggone thing until we got here. Three. Read. And who shall he make understand doctrine? And who he gonna make to understand the doctrine of the Bible? Let's see right. who. Read. Them that are weaned from the milk. Those who are weaned from the milk got the understanding of the basics of the Bible. Read. Right. And drawn from the breast. And drawn from the breast. We grow by learning the basics of the Bible, which is the law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Read. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Go ahead. Pre excuse me. Precept upon precept. Go ahead. Line upon line. So you go one line upon another line, right? Meaning that one line might say something and you don't have an understanding of it. Right. So you go to another line to tell you what that first line meant. Right. Read. Line upon line. Go ahead. Hear a little. Hear a little in the Old Testament. It might say something, right? right. Well, matter of fact, hear a little in the New Testament. It might say something, right? Right. And then you go to the, and what does it say after that? Here a little. And there a little. Then you go to the Old Testament, and it might explain what it says in the New Testament. You That's understand right. what I'm saying, Reggie? 
That's what, that's how you get an understanding of the Bible, a proper understanding. That's right. You can't get a, a, a your own interpretation if you go by how the Bible says to go. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.